All right, hello everybody. Uh, it's me, Cullen, again. I'm here with another shave. Um, tonight we'll be doing Pearberry by Sterling Soap Company. Um, if you never tried Pearberry, it's a very uh, sweet smell. Um, they, I guess they kind of have it listed as a spring scent. Um, I use soaps whenever I want. I don't care what time of the season it is. Um, and for my brush today, um, will be my Opus brush, um, that I had Craig make for me. And it has, um, his 26 millimeter knot that he gelled, um, and it's fantastic. For razor, I'll be using, uh, my Frankenstein razor here. It's got a carbon stainless steel handle, um, the head is actually um, a West Coast shaving head uh, that Charcoal Goods made for them, I guess a couple of years back. Um, this one just has West Coast shaving. It's not like the first one that had the um, lather ports were just holes and they were serial number. They only made like 25 of them. Um, this one's a more, looks more like a regular, um, I guess closer to a, like this is my level two and uh, they look very similar. Um, I don't know what the everyday looks like. I would assume like similar to this. It shaves very similar to um, my Choco Goods level two. For blade, I'll be using uh, a treat, um, carbon steel. Um, people call them the black beauties um, <clears throat> because they're um, a black blade. Um, they are, um, I really enjoy this blade. Uh, they're cheap. Uh, they're fairly, they're not the sharpest out there. They're not the smoothest, um, uh, but I enjoy them. I think you could pick them up for 10 bucks or something for a hundred. Um, but I got it loaded up in my razor. Um, tonight I may actually, I need to do a head shave. I don't know if I'm going to do it on camera. Um, I've never head shaved with this head before, so it may be a bloodbath. I don't know if I will or won't. Um, just put some water on my face and, uh, we'll get into the lather. Um, if you haven't used Sterling soap before, you're missing out. Um, you know, this is one of those soaps that you can buy and they don't have too many scents that, or at least that I've bought, um, that I haven't liked. Um, but my thing about Sterling soaps is if you buy a soap and the scent isn't something that you could see staying in your den. For the set, you're out 30 bucks, I think. Maybe a little less. It might be under 30. Um, versus some of these, um, versus some of these soaps, you know, you're pushing 50 bucks. Uh, with Sterling, you get, what is it, six ounces? 5.8 ounces um, of soap. Uh, I believe they've been asked in interviews that uh, why don't they, why haven't they changed their base? Because I believe it's the same base they've always had. And I don't want to quote them wrong, but I believe rod um the owner of it him and his wife are owners i believe in a nutshell he basically said if it ain't broke why fix it um and i agree with that this uh this razor i searched for for a long time uh, actually got lucky and found it
seems like the people that have them don't let go of them uh, because they are such a good shaver. Now, I don't know if this head was that's going to bleed. Uh, relax my skin there and let it pull on me as I went around the, my chin. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I don't know if this is one that Charcoal Goods designed for West Coast shaving. And West Coast shaving had it made somewhere else. Or if it's one that they actually designed and manufactured for them. Um, the current one that they have in stock... I don't believe is um, manufactured by them. I don't know if it's a stainless steel head or not. Um, I know that it's, the cap is pointy. It's kind of seems to me like it's designed for uh, the be beginning wet shaver. Um, which tonight you would think I am with that big old gash. Oh. Gotta love this diptych. But, uh, I don't know if they outsource it, manufactured somewhere else, but it's a great razor. Um, the handle it came with uh, was a little skinny for me. It's one of the handles that West Coast Shaven still sells. They're uh, stainless steel, uh, stainless steel uh, CNC machined handles. Um, and so I was going to polish it like I polish everything else, but. I decided that I wasn't because if I ever decide to get rid of it, um, it may make it harder to sell. Um, second pass here. See, that's why I don't. Don't talk when I shave because I slice myself. If you heard the groan in the background, my dog decided to come in here and take a nap. And he doesn't like to uh, not be the uh, one getting all the attention. This razor is really good. Uh, not going to talk too much about the razor because you can't buy them. Um, the carbon handle is phenomenal. When I first saw them, I thought they were just a cool looking handle, so I wanted one. But uh, when I when I got my first one, uh, I realized they are uh, a really comfortable handle. Also, 
Sorry, just adding some water to my lather here. Oh, uh, which again, tonight I forgot to mention that um, I'm using my Captain's Choice Copper uh, Bowl again. Uh, but the soap has a uh, The quality of it is just unbeatable, um, especially for the price. Rod and Mandy, um, when I first got into the hobby, I Bought one of their soaps because, well, actually, I got it from from somebody on a piff, I think. When I first started, though, I was real worried about, wow, this is only four ounces of soap. It's not going to last long. Uh, little did I know that... Uh, Little did I know when I first started that uh, you don't use a lot of soap. Um, I wasn't, I didn't know how much you used. Um, but when I first used it, I was like, wow, this was really good. Then I found out they were um, both veterans, uh, like myself. And so that just uh, made me appreciate the company more. Um, Because it takes, um, excuse me one second. My cat snuck in here and she actually finally get into everything. Let me get her out. You want to go out too? Come on. Uh -uh, stay. Okay, sorry about that. We are pet free now though. Um, But when I found out they were veteran owned, and that made me want to support them even more, um, especially after I found out that they um, were both um, they were both deployed. It takes a certain person to a certain type of person to willingly sacrifice or to say, you know, if need be, I will sacrifice my life for the quote unquote better good uh, and that goes for policemen um, firemen 
uh, any first responder, people that, you know, doctors, anyone who puts their lives in danger daily to make sure the rest of us stay safe. Um, my hat's off to them. Um, but, and so, as of, well, I guess we are going to head shape because I'm just rambling and going on into it. Um, and so, as a veteran, um, and in seeing the price um, that 18 year old shortened this down because I went way long with the head shave. I'll probably um, delete all that out, but I finished up with my hyaluronic acid, witch hazel and water. Um, and let me show you, uh, the Opus brush after being rinsed. Make sure there's no, uh, the knot is phenomenal. Uh, Craig said this is one of the best knots he's ever gotten. Um, it's definitely a good knot. And then the West Coast Shaven Charcoal Goods head from two years ago with a carbon stainless steel handle. Great combination. Captain's Choice Heavy Duty Copper Ball. And the Pear Berry. Um, I'll put links to all this um, in the description of my video um, and to um, all that. But this is a... Uh, It's a really good scent. Really like it. Um, it's very sweet, very pear. Uh, I think that's the thing that I really like about it is that the pear scent in it is very prominent. Um, I had another soap at one time. I don't remember what it was, uh, and it was pear something, and the pear was very. It should have been the star of the show because it was in the name, um, but it was very, but it was, it was hard to even tell that it was there. This is phenomenal. Um, but thank y'all for joining me again. I'll have this posted, um, excuse my wet shirt there. I have this posted to my YouTube channel and I have description or links to the products down below with the exception of the razor head because it's no longer made, but I'll have links to Sterling and Opus uh, to his Facebook page where you'll have to message him, possibly his Etsy shop. Uh, Craig's a good guy though. But that'll be it. We'll see you next time. Uh, tomorrow, I believe we will be um, exploring this handle from Aloha Shaves. This is his handle number 25 uh, with a Umo lotus knot and tomorrow i will be using katie's bubbles blue Gere. so i'll see y'all for my next video take care be safe and god bless